Right, today's jog starts here at Cockfosters Underground Station. Okay, what we're going to do, we're going to do the Primus Trail, which is the Primus Book. We're going to follow the Primus Book. And when you leave Cockfosters Station, you cross over to this side of the road by the bus stand, and we're going to take the first turn in on our left down or along Chalk Lane till we get to Games Road. So, as I said, we're here at Cockfosters Station. We leave the station, cross over the main road there. And then we're going to turn here on our first lift along Chalk Lane. We're going to do the Primus Book Trail, okay, which is going to finish our Pickett's Lane. So anyway, we just carry on straight ahead and turn to our left. So as I said, we turn left to our Chalk Lane and we just carry on straight round towards our right. So we just carry on straight along here. Okay, we just follow the path round to our right and we're going to head along till we get to Games Road. Continue straight, we're just past the church till we get to Games Road. Just carry on straight round till we get to Games Road. Okay, at the end of the chalk lane here we just turn to our right here until we get onto Games Road. Okay, now we're in front is Games Road and what we're going to do is going to carry along in front until we get to Beach Hill Lake and that's where the Pimmis Brook starts and that's where our jog starts all the way to Pickett's Lock. Okay, I'll just give you a little panoramic view of where we are. So, we just carry on straight in front where that car's just come from till we get to Beach Hill Lake and that's where we're going to turn and go all the way along the Pimmis Brook. Just carry on straight down in front, past the white gate, straight on. And we just went through those white gates, we just carry on straight till we come to Beach Hill Lake, and that's when we turn off. So we just carry on straight. Just continue straight along the path in front, until I say when. Just carry on straight till we come to Beach Hill Lake, and that's when we turn off. Okay, here we are. We're beside the source of the Pimis, Pimis Brook and we'll be turning off shortly. So we cross over this bridge and then we're going to be turning to our left shortly. But here at Oak Hill, no, sorry, Beach Hill Lake, the source of there was just behind those trees up there, the lake. But anyway, we just carry across the bridge and then we're going to turn to our left. Now if we carry on straight, we come to High Barnet by the Spires. But anyway, we'll just cross over this bridge for the moment and I'll tell you what to do now. Okay, we've just crossed over that little stone bridge here and this is where our journey starts, by this signpost here. We just crossed over the stone bridge there, and what we do now, we turn off here, as I said, to our left, and we just carry on straight down. Okay, so the next part of this jog is mainly road work, so we just carry on straight, as I said, along in front here. If we carry on straight on the path here, we come up towards Hyde Barnet, which is about two and a bit miles. So it's, it's already written on the signpost there. So anyway. This is where we leave the path and we carry on straight in front. Okay, all we do is just carry on straight in front across the zebras, just carry on straight, please. As I said, we just continue straight, carry on straight to the end, just carry on straight in front. Just carry on straight. Okay, when we come to the end of Baron Road here, We're going to turn right, cross over, and then turn to left down Crescent Road. So we're going to turn right here. Okay, when you reach this point of the road, we turn left here into Crescent Road, and we just continue all the way down to the bottom till we get to the main road. So we just turn left here into Crescent Road and just carry on straight through. Okay, we're coming to the end of Crescent Road, and we get to the end, 
We're going to turn left into Book Hill Road, cross over, and then we're going to go down Cat Hill. So here, we're going to turn left and cross over. So we're turning left here into Book Hill Road. Okay, we've just turned left here into Book Hill Road, and we just carry on straight up the hill here until we turn right into Cat Hill. Okay, so we just carry on straight till we turn right. I'll tell you when. Okay, when you reach this point on Book Hill Road, we're going to turn right here into Cat Hill and cross over. Okay, when we reach this point on Cat Hill, we're going to turn to our left and we're going to run along beside Oak Hill Park and we're going to be joined up with the Pymouth Brook. And that'll take us all the way, hopefully all the way along Trawdarnas Grove. So as every turn, left here, I'm just carrying on beside Oak Hill Park. Okay, a glimpse of the Pymus book. Now this is what we'll be following now for the next mile or so. Okay, so all we do is carry on straight along this path here until I tell you when to go into the park. Okay, so we just carry on straight in front. All right, ignore that path here on my right here into the park. We just carry on straight in front until I say when, so when we enter the park beside the Pymus book. Pymus book. So we just carry on straight in front. Cross over the road and just carry on straight until I say when. Okay, when you reach this point in the path, we take that path there on our right, the small path into the park, and then we're going to run along beside the Primus book. So, as I said, we take this path here into the park, and we're going to be running alongside the Primus book. Okay, when you get to this point, we don't cross the bridge. All we do is turn to our left and just carry on the path where those red dogs coming towards us. So we just carry along that path there right to the till we leave the park. So we'll be running beside the Pymus Brook here. So we just carry on straight in front. Just carry on straight on this path in front. We just carry on straight in front. Carry on straight in front. Just carry on straight ahead. Just carry on straight, straight in front beside the Pymus, which is on our way. So we just carry on straight. Okay, when you reach this point, all we do is cross over the road here, and we just carry along in front. Now you can either take the east walk or the west walk, it doesn't make any difference, but we just carry on beside the Pymus, which runs in between. So we just carry on straight in front, but I'm gonna take the east walk, which is there over on my left, and go straight through to the other end. Just left Oak Hill Park, we've crossed over that road. I'm on East Walk now, and all we do is carry on straight in front till we get to the other main road, till we get to the end. Now, the Plymouth is there on my right there, okay, by those bushes and all that, but anyway, we just carry on straight. Just carry along straight. Carry on straight till we get to the main road. Okay, we've come to the end of East Walk, and what we're going to do is cross over here, Osage Road, okay, and then we're going to turn right into Brunswick Park. Now, I must warn you here, there are two entrances to Brunswick Park. There's an entrance over there by West Walk. You must never, or well, mustn't go up that one, because it leads nowhere. So what you do, as I said, we're here on East Walk, cross over here, and then we're going to take the first on our way into the park, Brunswick Park, and follow the Primus Book all the way along to Waterfall Road, towards Arnest Park. Okay, so big warning, don't take the right hand entrance to Brunswick Park. Okay, we take the left hand entrance. Okay, okay all we do is enter the park here and just carry on beside the Primus Brook till we get to the other end. So we just carry on straight. Keep going straight. The Primus book is here on our on my right. Keep 
keep going straight. Okay, when you reach this point of the path, we just carry on straight where those two people are. Ignore that bridge there on my right. So, we just carry on straight beside the railway bridge, okay, which is the Piccadilly line, leading up to Arnis Grove. But anyway, we just carry on straight in front. Okay, when you reach this point, we've just left Bondrick Park. We're just going to cross over here. Yeah, we're going to enter Arnis Park. Okay, on this road. Oh. So we just cross over and carry on straight. Yes, we've just crossed over Waterfall Road and we're just going to carry on straight into Arnest Grove Park or Arnest Park. Okay, so we get to the other end. So we just carry on straight. Okay, we've just come along that path there. I'm just giving you a quick panoramic view. So anyway, we just carry on straight on this path till we leave the park. Let's carry on straight, follow the path round beside the football until we get to the other end. Just give you a little view. Could we just carry on straight as I said, round by trail right. And as I said before, we just carry on, follow the path beside the Plymouth Brook. We just carry on until we leave the park. Now if any of you are feeling tired, you just cross this bridge here, carry on straight up on this road here, and on your way is on this underground station. But anyway, we just carry straight on in front till we leave the park. We just carry on straight. Now this will be the last time you'll see the Primus Brook until we get past the North Circular Road. And we'll be leaving on this park here shortly. And then we're going to turn to our left. And I'll show you where we go from there. Okay, so we just carry on to the end and then we're going to turn. Okay, when we reach this point, we leave the park and we're going to turn to our left. So we go up here and turn to our left. Okay, we've just left on this park and what we're going to do, we're going to cross over here and turn up here, as I said, up the hill. And then we're going to turn right by Brookfield Park. Carry on straight up until we get to Brookfield Park. Okay, and then we're going to turn right down towards Brookfield Lane. Okay, so we'll just carry on straight here. Okay, we cross over here and into Brookfield Park. Where we're going to turn right and all the way down beside Brookfield Lane. So we just cross over this traffic here and into the park. Okay, we're in Brookfield Park. And as I said, we just take this path here on our right and just carry on straight to the end. Okay, when you reach this point in the path, we just go straight through the gate there in the wall and carry on straight. Just carry on straight, go through the gate, or then through the wall, or the, whatever, just go straight ahead in front. We just carry on straight. Carry on straight and follow the path home to our left. Okay, when you reach this point of the path, you've got the men's and ladies' toilets behind those trees there, to the buildings there. But what we're going to do, we're going to turn right on the path here and leave the park. As I said, you've got the men's and ladies' toilets here, so if you're caught short, well, here's the toilet. Anyway, we just carry on straight till we leave the park and carry on straight in front, along Brookfield Lane. Okay, we leave the park here by the gate here and just carry on straight in front. Just carry on straight, we've just left the park. Carry on straight till we get to Oak Fork Road. Carry on straight in front till we get to the main road. Okay, we've got some builders merchants here. Travis Perkins, Perkin. But anyway, we just carry on straight. Okay, when we get to this point in Broomfield Road, we just cross over the traffic light and we just carry on straight in front. So we just carry on, cross over this main road and carry on straight. 
Now we carry on sailing along Old Fob Road here until we get to the North Circular. So we just carry on straight. Just carry on straight over this bridge here which is crossing New River. So that is New River which takes you all up to um, the Angel, Stoke Newington, whatever, Highbury. But anyway, we just carry on straight in front. Okay, till we get down to the North Circular. Now here we are, we're at the end of Oak Fork Road and all we're going to do is follow this little path round cross over the North Circle which is in front and then take a footpath straight ahead which will take us into Princess Avenue and we'll be by dissecting the Primus Book We'll just have a quick glimpse of it anyway we just carry on straight across over the North Circle Okay, we're going to cross over the North Circle here, these traffic lights and when we cross over we're going to turn left and then right along the footpath which will take us in onto Princess Avenue, so we'll have to cross over there. Okay, we've just crossed over the traffic lights there on the North Circular, and all we do now is go along here, on this footpath, all the way to the other way, and onto, into Princess Avenue, where we're going to turn left. Okay, so all we do now is go up this footpath here. I'll just give you a view where we are. So as I said, Path here on our way. Just carry on straight through. We'll be crossing over the Plymouth Brook. Okay, but anyway, just carry on. Okay, this is the Plymouth Brook again. Okay, thank you. Anyway, as I said, we just carry on straight along this footpath till we get out by Princess Avenue. Okay, when we reach the end here, we're going to turn left along Princess Avenue. As I said, we turn left here into Princess Avenue and we carry on straight all the way along till we come to Tile Kill Lane. So we just continue straight along here. Okay, when you reach the end of Princess Avenue here, all you do is carry on straight round to our left till we come to Tile Kill Lane. Okay, so we just carry on round to our left. Of course, over there crossing here or a little roundabout type thing and carry on straight in front so just carry on straight in front continue straight ahead just carry on straight okay when we reach this point in tail kill lane what we do is take the path straight in front here on our left and go straight through okay so you can all those other paths leading to the plain fields there so, as I said, we just carry on straight in front, beside the Pimis Brook. Anyway, we just carry on straight through along the path here, till we get to the other end. We just carry on straight. We go through the gates here and just carry on straight by the main road. As I said, we just past the gates, just carry on straight till we get to the main road in front. Okay, when we reach this point, we're going to use the subway here, underneath the roundabout, and we're going to come out by Silver Street. So we go down the steps here and we're going to turn to our right. Just come down the steps and all we do, as I said, turn to our right and carry on straight through. Underneath the bridge. Now ignore that tunnel there, to my right. All we do is carry on straight round here by my left. So we just go over and carry on straight here. So we just carry on straight. Okay, when we reach this point, we're going to turn to our right and then up onto the main road. Just carry on straight till we get to the top by the shops and we're on Silver Street and we just carry on straight forward. Well, here we are at the top of the subway and all I do, or all we do, is just carry on straight here. So we get to Pimis Park. So anyway, we're on Silver Street now. Just carrying all the way straight on, straight in front of we get to Pimis Park. Just carry on straight in front. We'll be passing the Millfields Art Centre and that's where the Primus Brook passes through. We won't see the Primus Brook until we get to Primus Park again. But anyway, we just carry on straight.
Alright, at this point, we're at Primus Park. So what we do, we enter the park and we're going to turn to our right and carry along beside the road basically. But we turn, go into the park and turn right. Okay, we're in the park now. As I said, all we do is take the path here on our right and just carry on straight round. Just give you a quick panoramic view of where we come in. We've just come into the park. And as I said, we just take this path here on our right and just continue round. Just follow the path right round until we leave the park. Just continue round on the path straight round. As I said, we just continue round straight on the path straight ahead. Just continue straight ahead on the path in front. Just continue straight. <laughs> just continue straight. Okay, when you reach this point, you just continue round on your way until I say when. So you ignore that path there over there on your left. Just continue round on your right. Okay, when you reach this point, you turn to your right here by the building and we cross over the road. So we're going to turn right here. So when you reach this building, the toilet's here, as I said, and we leave the park here, we cross over and go straight ahead into Park Road. So we leave the park here and go straight ahead. Okay, so we've just come from there, we've just left the park, and all we're going to do now is cross over here and just carry on straight into Park Road. And then when we get to the end of it, we're going to turn left up 4th Street. So we just cross over and carry on. Just carry along straight along Park Road here till we get to the main road and then we're going to turn left. Okay, when you get to this point in Park Road, we're going to turn left and carry on straight up till we get to Platner Road. Okay, so we're going to turn left here. Now as I said, we turn left here into 4th Street and what we're going to do is cross over and then wait we get to Plevna Road, we turn right into Plevna Road. So we carry on and we cross over until we get to Plevna Road. Okay, we cross here at 4th Street to the other side until we get to Plevna Road. Okay, so we cross here and carry on straight until we get to Plevna Road. Okay, when you reach this point in 4th Street, we're going to turn right here into Plevna Road and just carry on straight until I say when. Hopefully we'll be able to go down by Salmon Brook. But last time I came it was blocked off, so I'll just keep fingers crossed. So we turn right here into Plevna Road. I carry along here till we get to Salmon Brook. Okay, you've got a big gas there store here on my left. But anyway, we just carry on straight in front until we pass the Salmon Brook and we we'll see if it's open or not. Now here we are, this is Salmon Brook and unfortunately it's still blocked off and we can't go along here. Now normally you go on straight along on the path beside your Salmon Brook and at the end you turn to your left and head up towards Pickett's Lock and where that's where the official trail ends, the Pimbus Trail ends, that's where it enters the early navigation. Okay, but unfortunately we just have to carry on straight in front and turn right at Town Road and then I also tell you where to go from there. So, we just carry on straight in front. Just carry on straight in front. Okay, when you reach this point in the path, we turn right here into Town Road and carry on all the way down until we come to Exeter Road, where we're going to turn left into Exeter Road. So we just turn right here into Town Road. Okay, when you reach this point in Town Road, we're going to turn left here into Exeter Road and carry on until we come to Nash Road. So we turn left here. Come along Exeter Road here till we get to Nash Road. And then we're going to turn right. Okay, when you reach this point in Exeter Road, we're going to turn right here into Nash Road, all the way out onto the main road, up by Pickett's Lock. So we're going to turn right here by Nash Road. We're on Nash Road, we just carry on straight till we get to the main road. So we just carry on straight. And then we're heading on to pick 
it's locked. All right, at the end of Nash Road, all we are, all we're going to do is cross over by the traffic lights there and turn right along Pickett's Lock Lane so we get to Pickett's Lock and that would be the end of the jog or the trail for the Pymouth Brook which goes on the, into the Lee Navigation. Okay, but we'll be heading on to Ponders End train station. But then we will cross over the lights here and turn to our right along Pickett Lock Lane. Now as I said, we turn right here into Pickett's Lock Lane and we're just going to go straight on, round, following Pickett's Lane, straight on to William Gerlin's Reservoir, by the William Gerlin's Reservoir, by Pickett's Lock, and that's where the trail ends, the Pemis Trail. But we'll be going on to Ponder's End, so anyway, we just carry on, follow around by Pickett's Lock Lane, till we get to William Gerlin Reservoir. Just carry on straight. Okay, we've just come through the tunnel there. And what we do, we just carry on straight round here, bearing to our left, and carry on straight along Pickett's Lock Lane, following it round till we get to the William Gurlin Reservoir. So we just carry on straight. Okay, when you reach this point on Pickett's Lock Lane, all we're going to do now is turn to our right and just carry on straight through. Now, up on our left is the Lee Valley Leisure Park, where you've got the athletics ground golf club, cinema, everything up there. But we're just going to carry on straight ahead in front. Now if you take that path straight in front, that takes you all the way up to the Lee Valley Leisure Park, the athletics track, the cinema, golf course, etc. But what we're doing, we're just going to carry on straight till we get to the William Gurlin Reservoir. Or Pickett's Lock, by Pickett's Lock. And that's the end of the Pinnis book, where it sort of goes into the Lee Navigation. Just carry on straight. Keep going straight. Well, as I said, we turn left here, and we go straight across to the other side, and then we're going to turn left and head towards Ponder's End. Just carry on straight over the bridge. Well, here we are, Pickett's Lock. Now, this is where the Pymouth Book ends and that enters the Lee Navigation and this will be the end of the job. And if you carry on straight along there, you come along straight down by Wolfenstow Marshes, Hackney Marshes, all the way down to Limehouse Cut. Anyway, as I said, we're going to turn left here and head all the way up to Wharf Road and then we're going to get the Ponders End Railway Station. Anyway, well done. Anyway, we cross over the lock and as I said we turn left and we just carry on straight here until we get to Wharf Road. And then we leave or finish at Ponders End Station. So we just carry on. Well we just carry along the Lee Navigation here. And if you're wondering where the William Gurlin Reservoir is, it's over there above the top of the hill there. We can't see it but it's over there on my right. But anyway we just carry on straight till we get to Wharf Road. Okay when we reach this point we're getting near to Ponder's End Station. We'll be crossing over soon into Wharf Road. Now at this point on the towpath, we leave, we turn off here on our right and go across the bridge and head on towards Ponders End Station along Wharf Road. So as I said, we leave the early navigation here and go across the bridge. As I said, we just turn to our left and just cross over the bridge straight on until we cross over and into Ponders End Station. Just carry on straight. Right, this is where the jog ends. We've got these, this fly over here, and on the other end is Ponders End Station. Now we came from Cox Fosters, followed the River Pimmers, all the way up here to Pickett's Lock, along the River Lee Navigation to Ponders End. 
Anyway, not a bad jog. Just give you a little look of, uh, of what we've just been along. Okay, well that's the end of the Pim's jog. It's about a nine mile jog, so it's not too bad. Not too bad. Anyway, well done. Okay, we've just come over to fly over there. Basically all you do is walk down the steps on this side and you're at the station. Pondes End Station. Anyway, this is the end of the jog. Well done.